It's the whole world. Yeah, I keep it on there. No, I'm not going to keep it on there because I won't be able to see. Hey, Ruben, I need for you to bring another chair around because I'm going to use this area. Okay. Walk around that way, please, so you don't knock anything over. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Gentry and Gemma. All right. How's everyone's week going? Good. 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 We have to see her. There we go. Woo! Oh, I don't want your head black on me. Rebecca, share. please stop. Please stop. All righty. We're going to get started pretty quick so we can play this game. So I'm going to give people like two more minutes. Alrighty, let's make sure this is up. Rack and Paul Welty, where are you? Did they know you're here? <laughs> Don't play with the phone right now. Oh, hey, Bracken, how's it going? Right here. You dyed your hair black. Oh, there he is. He morphed into a smaller version. Where is everybody? We got to get started. Whoa. I was joking. It was. Excuse me. <laughs> Is that you, Jacob? No. <laughs> I think I embarrassed him. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Maggie. Hi, Grant. All right. <sighs> Oh, guys, yeah. we need to get started. So, screen share. Oops. Thanks for my books, Nikki. You're welcome. Sure do love you. Love you. Is it the house? Is it the house? I like it. Look, Jesse, I'm using post it notes today. No, oh, don't worry, and there'll be plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys, we got to get started, okay? So, you are my creative friends, and I call you creative because that is what you are. Usually, we think creativity as painting or writing or singing, and that's all true, right? We can definitely be... We can definitely be creative through art, but there's so much more to creativity than just paint or music, okay? So creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. You see, God's creativity is indescribable. It goes beyond what we could ever imagine. So if we're made in God's image, no, Ruben, sit down. Yeah. If we're made in God's image, oh my gosh, sorry guys, my kids are messing me up. You see, God's creativity is indescribable. It's limitless. It goes beyond what we could ever imagine. So if we're made in God's image, then we are creative. So we're going to play a game together that will show you a little of what I mean, and it is called Creative Charades. I'm pretty sure every single one of you has played charades because we did it for VBS. Um, Bracken, have you played charades where you act something out? Yes. Heads up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're just going to go from oldest down to youngest. All right. So on my wall here, 
What does that say? Do you guys know? Creativity. Well, it says creative. Creative. And there are two colors, right? So, here we go. When it's your turn, you'll come, you're going to act out each color. One has a noun. Do you guys remember what a noun is? You've been out of school for a while. A noun is like a person, place, or a thing. Person, place, animal, or a thing. Right. Okay. And one of those is a noun. I think it's the top. And one is a verb. And you put them together and you're going to act out the phrase. It'll be tricky though because even though there may be like a word that says ice cream on the noun and a verb that says melting, the chances are not great that you're going to choose the two words together, right? Because they're all mixed up in there. So you might have to act out like a dog melting, all right? A dog or ice, melting? Or ice cream barking, right? You can make sounds, but no words. For example, if it's barking, you can go, ar, 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 right? Thumbs up if you understand, right? Okay. So, and then we're going to shout out what we think you're acting out. So... Um, if I hear the correct answer, we're going to move on to the next person, but we're not going to go on forever because we have a story to do. So, um, when we give up, we'll just go to the next person, right? So, we should have plenty for everybody to do something. All right. Is everybody ready? Yes? No? Yes. So, okay. We don't have any fifth graders on here, I don't think. Fifth grade teacher. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to act it out, Jesse? Sure. Oh, Grant! Grant! You get to go first. Okay, Grant. So, on the yellow, what letter are you choosing? Say it loud, because I can't hear you. Pick a letter. A. A? All right. And what is the letter in the pink? What is it? T. T? All right, I'm gonna shoot it over to you. My kids, close your eyes so you don't see. All right, here we go. Where's my chat? All right, where are you? Chat, okay. Here it comes, Grant. He is ready as soon as I close that out so my kids don't see. There we go. Go, Grant. We have to act. You have to act it out. What's Grant doing, guys? Penguin? Not a penguin. Um, fish. Fish is right. Go to your next one, Grant. We can't hear you, Grant. Fish blocking. Barking. Blocking is not a word. Barking. Do it loud, Grant. We can't hear you. Fish barking. There you go. Got it. All right. So, Grant, we were in what grade? Fifth or fourth? Fifth. So do we have any fourth graders? Okay, we're going to third graders. All right. Gentry, what's your letter on top? E. T? E is what oh. she's saying. Okay, yeah, you guys gotta speak up because I can barely hear you. E with what? Pick another letter. Hurry. A. 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 Close your eyes. All right, Gentry, I'm shooting it over to you right now. What is it? All right. <laughs> Ew. 
pig. Um, hey, they got the pig part. Um, <laughs> pig crying. Got it. It was a pig crying. Good job. I'm All right. All right, Becca, go pick two. One from the top and one from the bottom. Okay. Hurry, Becca. Come on. Move over, Ruben. All right. Oh, wait, you don't have to. You have to turn and look at her. Do you know what that says? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. She's ready, guys. What's she doing? Playing a guitar. Playing guitar. Okay, I heard guitar. That's the first word. That's the noun. Video game. Video game. No, no, no not video game. Oh, texting. There you right. go. Guitar texting. Like Good job. All right, Jacob, it's your turn. What color or what letter? Um, e and R. Close your eyes, kids. Oh, I meant my kids, <laughs> not you guys. <laughs> All right. All right, there you go, Jacob. Oh, oh, I didn't mean that. I couldn't see the first one. Well, scroll up, it's right there. You see it? I can only see the bottom. Do you see it? Okay, start I acting. It. Okay, go ahead. Start acting it out. Monkey. Monkey, they got the first one. What's the second thing he's doing? Remember it's the first. Jumping. Jumping. Jump roping. You're getting close. Monkey jumping. Monkey Monkey. jumping. Good job. Good job. All right. All right. So is that all of our third graders? Yes. Okay. Second. Oh, wait. Maggie, your third grade? All right. Your turn. What, what color or what letter? Say it loud because I can't really hear you very well. T. T? I. All right. Close your eyes, kids. My kids. Okay, remember the first thing is a person, place, or a thing, and the second thing is what she's doing. It's a verb. All right, your turn. Maggie, go. We can't see you. Maggie, go back. There you go. Okay. Who is she? A ballerina. Ballerina. What's the person, place, or thing? What is the person? Ballerina. Okay. Ballerina dog. Ballerina dog. I'll take ballerina. Ruben, you're wearing Ballerina dog. Yes. That's Ruben. Okay, we'll take ballerina. It's a dancer. Now, what else is she doing? She's swimming. swimming. So, what are the two words together? Ballerina. ballerina. Good job. All right. Now we're down to our second graders. Bracken, you ready to go? I'm a second grader. Okay. Hey, pick your letters. Pick your letter. Go fast. C E. All righty. Turn it around. Sure. There you go. <laughs> hey, go, bud. Right here. Yeah. All right, Bracken's ready, guys. Pay attention. Calling. What? Okay. No. Oh, what's the phone. thing? What's the Calling. thing? Phone. 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 Brushing your teeth. Okay, so phone, 
What's the thing he's doing? Brushing. Brushing fun. Foam brushing. Okay, Gemma, you ready? What are yours? Which one's Gemma? I see. All right. All right, go. Gemma's turn. Cat. Cat. Good job. Cat running. Cat running. Cat there running. There we go. Cat running. Woo! Ruben, our final one. You get the V's. That was perfect. It worked out perfect. Hurry up. Don't say it out loud. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Ruben's turn. You can make noises. No words, though. Jumping. 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 That's the verb. Jump Jump is the verb. Maybe. Jumping, he did the verb first. He was supposed to do that second. That's the first thing. Baby jumping. There you go. Woo! Awesome job, you guys. That worked out perfectly. So that was creative for sure. So y'all did a good job acting out those silly phrases and and we did have some creative answers sometimes too. So I'm thankful that God created, uh, God made us all creative like him. So now it's time to shoot it over to Courtney. Hey, good morning. Drake, are you awake? <laughs> I've missed your face. Me? Yeah. I wish Eliza Bochting was here because she's in my fourth grade class, Nikki. Isn't hey. that exciting? <laughs> so this morning, since we're talking about creativity, I have a great way to share the story with us. So, Miss Nikki? Hey, I'm here. Help me? Oh, you're there. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to let Miss Nikki use her creativity. You think Miss Nikki's very creative? I think Miss Nikki's super creative Jacob in her own crazy Jacob. way. Jacob just shook his head now. Yeah, Jacob's going, nope, she's not creative at all. She's nuts creative, Jacob. You know that. So Miss Nikki is going to use these pool noodles to help us share our lesson today. So in the New Testament, we can find quite a few letters written by a man named Paul. Paul wrote to believers in different churches. He wanted to encourage them as they tried to follow Jesus. Can you stop there? Sit there. Sit there with your sister. So a side note about Paul, he hadn't always been a Jesus follower himself. But once he did decide to put his faith in Jesus, he made it his life's work to encourage others to believe too. In fact, he traveled all over to teach people and share with them what it meant to follow Jesus. So Paul started a church in Ephesus. So let's see what Miss Nikki's doing right now. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, there we go. There's your, oh, Jake. <laughs> That's a church, Jake, can't you tell? What did he say? He went. <laughs> That's your church, can't you tell? So Miss Nikki made us a church. Good job, Miss <laughs> Nikki. So churches back then didn't really look like ours. See, so there we go. Um, <laughs> In fact, the believers usually just met in people's homes. So Miss Nikki's is actually perfect. Good job, Miss Nikki. So after Paul started the church in Ephesus, he left, but later he went back to stay for several years. The believers in Ephesus were from different backgrounds. The one thing they had in common was that they believed in Jesus and that he had died and come back to life. Let's see what Miss Nikki's going to make now. Perfect. Uh, why is she breaking a pool noodle? Uh, she's that strong, Jake. Being creative. <laughs> <laughs> I 
as Paul went around telling people about Jesus, he was so bold that he actually got in trouble with the Roman government. They didn't want people talking about Jesus, so Paul ended up in jail in Rome. Oh, let me out. <laughs> you get it? She's in jail. You get it? Yes. You get it? So even though Paul had good reason to complain, he used his time in jail creatively. He wrote letters to the churches he had started. See Miss Nikki writing her letters, including the church at Ephesus. He reminded them that God created us to do good things for others. Check out what he wrote as it's recorded in Ephesians 2.10. So Ephesians 2.10 says, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. So let's break it down a little bit more. Miss Nikki, are you good to keep helping me? I, I'm going to try. Okay. So let's see what I can do. So Miss Nikki has some more supplies. Oh, yeah. Let's get some oh. real paint out. There we go. Is she painting the end of that pool noodle? <laughs> this is so much fun. Well, so let's let Miss Nikki keep painting and we'll see. So Ephesians 2.10 part one says we are God's creation. So all throughout the Bible, we read that God not only created us, but he made us in his image, right? That means that God made us to be like him. And since God is creative, we can be creative too. So speaking of being creative, Miss Nikki, what are you working on back there? Um, so I'm using a tool noodle to make some real cool art, right? <laughs> is that really cool? <laughs> oh, it's. So it's amazing. Is it creative though to use a pool noodle to create art? Yeah, it is. Yes. Okay, yeah. so Ephesians 2 10 part two says we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. So when we put our trust in Jesus, it changes the way we see the world. Our relationship with Jesus is what helps us see the needs around us and makes us want to help. Okay, so now let's finish reading what Paul wrote. In part three, he says, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. So now we can do good works means we can use our creativity to do good works that God planned. We can use the gifts God gave us to help people around us. You know what? I'm not helping you today. My children help pay attention. Yeah. yeah. So, did Miss Nikki show us how we can use our creativity to do good works? <laughs> Is she making a beautiful card right now? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I got something I can put on it. I fold it. She has something else up her sleeve, you think? Yeah. You never know what Miss Nikki's going to do next, do you? Here's my card I just made. Oh. <laughs> it's for you, Courtney. Oh, thanks, Miss Nikki. It's oh. so beautiful. It's, it's so abstract. It is. I wish I could display your artwork in my house somewhere. Like, frame it. Will you sign it for me? Because one oh. day it'll be worth millions. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be worth millions one day. Penny. This is a pool noodle work of art here. One penny. One penny. Is how one much penny. That would be worth. Will you pay me <laughs> one then... penny for it, Jake? <laughs> so did Miss Nikki Thank make that to help encourage me and make my day better? <laughs> you think Miss Nikki telling me that I'm awesome is gonna make my day better? Yeah. Is that so nice of her? Yeah. yeah. So here's something for us to remember. The creativity God gives us isn't just about art and music. God has designed you in a unique way to love him and love others. 
That's what Paul meant by good works. He meant that you can use that unique way that God has designed us to show love for other people. So for some people, those creative good works are things like drawing, writing a song, painting, incredible works of art. But for somebody else, creativity might look different, like building a robot, designing apps or games, making people laugh, or inventing new uses for pool noodles. That's being creative still. So no matter how God made you creative, you can use that creativity to help others. But before you can use your creativity, you need to believe that you're creative in the first place. And my job today, I'm here to tell you that that's true. You're all creative. So let's thank God for making us creative. Ready? Let's pray. Ready to pray? Good job. Dear God, thank you for creating each one of us, and thank you for making us creative like you. It's so cool how you gave each of us unique and different ways to use our creativity. Help us figure out how you made us creative, then help us see the needs around us so we can use our creativity to do good works for others. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Good job. Amen. Amen. Hold on, let me get my screen back up. All righty. So, that was a really fun way to just demonstrate some of my creativity up here today. So, but the truth is, any one of you could be up here showing us your creativity. There are so many ways each day that we can use our creativity that God gave us. He can help us do good things, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oops, I need to make you guys go big. There you go. So this is what we're learning today. God created you so you can be creative. Can you guys say that with me? God, God created, created you so you can be creative. So maybe you're thinking, okay, that sounds great, but I have no clue how I'm creative. Well, think about things you like to do, all the things that you're naturally good at. Ask your parent or a friend or something of what they see in you. And just like we prayed a minute ago, ask God to show you new ways to use your creativity to help those around you. So God not only made you creative, but he wants to help you use that creativity, right? And we yeah. learned that you can trust God no matter what. And you can always ask him for help. He's always there. There are just as many forms of creativity as there are human beings. So don't judge your own creativity by what others do. Some of you might be great at visual arts while other of you are great at solving problems. I bet someone in here is a creative communicator. You're good at helping other people, other people understand things because some people just don't understand things until they're told in a creative way what is, how to do something. And someone else is probably good at planning your birthday party or directing plays with your brothers and sisters. The possibilities are endless, right? So go ahead, get out your devices. That one. That one already on Kahoot. Kahoot got it. There you go, Courtney. Okay. Seven, five, three. There's Bracky. I'm, I'm already in because I had the first number in already. R and R. Who's in charge today, Rebecca? Yep. <laughs> Maggie. That's right. Got the Parkers. Am I just waiting on? Oh, Grant and Jake. What's the? 
Let's see who wins. Okay, don't we? Seven. Five, eight, one, five. There's Grant. Now we're just waiting for Jake. Is it in there? Are you pizza, Jake? Yeah. Okay, everybody ready? You ready, pizza? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Face in this world. I have no idea what place in this world means. Where was the church that Paul started in our story? Henderson, yeah. Ephesus, Chapel Hill, or the United States of America? Where was the church from our story? Good job. Yep, it was in Ephesus. The book of Ephesians. It was in Ephesus. Get it? Grant in the lead. Bracken in second. Number two, what does it mean that God made us in his image? He took a picture of us. He painted a picture of us. God made us to be like him, or he did a Google image search. What does it mean that God made us in his image? He made us like us. Good job. Yeah, he made us to be like him. Oh, Bracken and Grant. Ooh, one point in between. Number three, what does now we can do good works mean? Does that mean we can help others with our gifts from God? Our homework has to be done well, or we need to get a job and go to work? Hey. What does it mean to do good works? Good job. Yeah, we can help others with our gifts from God. Yeah. Flip-flop. We keep flip-flopping. <laughs> Number four, do you have to be good at drawing to be creative? Is that the only way you can be creative, yes or no? No, you can be creative in lots of different ways. Good job. Grant's still in the lead. Okay, on, on this one, you type an answer. How do you use your creativity? How do you use your creativity? Do you draw? Do you paint? Do you sing? Do you dance? Do you build Legos? Do you, um, anything? How are you creative? Yeah, points on this one. Okay. is worried about the points. Right. What? <laughs> so anything was my answer because I had to put a correct answer in. So that's fine that it says nobody got it. Let's see. Oh, I didn't want to see the picture. I want to see all your answers. So what were some of y'all's answers? Build Legos, I drawing. Did, I did some build Legos. I did oh, Legos. I did Legos. I did painting. Painting, yeah. Good answers. Hey. Okay. And last question. You can use your creativity to hurt others or help others. Which one should you do? Yeah, help others. You should use your creativity to help others. Behind the next day. In third place, Maggie. Good job, In Maggie. second place, Bracky. Good job, Bracky. In first place, Super Duper. Grant. He always wins. Harder. 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 Okay. And Arnold. Can we do another one? Good job. Next week. <laughs> no, we do it right now. One. See you in a week. We don't have very much time left. Okay, Miss Nikki. All right, guys. Well, our family is starting school this week, so. We are. So think about us while you all are still at home. In person? Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> 
Hey, you're giving us all masks. Whoa, okay. Hey, uh, Gentry and Gemma, pull your camera up. There you go. Okay, <laughs> see you next right. week. Have see a good bye. week. Bye-bye. Bye, Bracken. Bye-bye. <laughs>